Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into the applications I am most excited about going into 2025. So we are going to cover a few applications and I'm going to do this in two parts. So we will do one part where I talk about established applications. So applications I think that has its place in the note-taking and productivity space, applications I know a lot of people use, and applications that are and feel uh, stable, and they will probably add maybe even uh, major features, but mostly they will add like small uh, things or take a new direction for the application. So these are applications you've heard about for a while now, and none of them are actually in uh, beta or alpha. And that is really, really uh, important. Uh, that's what I will cover in the first part. Uh, in the second part, I will do more of these new applications. Some of them I've come across uh, only this year. Some of them do not have a mobile application. Most of them are in alpha or uh, in beta. So uh, that will be part two. But in this part one, we are going to cover the um, what I call the more stable applications. Uh, and the first one is Capacities. Capacities is actually a newer one. It isn't that old, but it has implemented a lot of great things, not many bugs inside of here. And I would say that out of the object-based note-taking applications, this is clearly the leader. They are doing a lot of things right. I completely understand why people like it. Like. You have everything from databases to a graph view to a calendar. You have great pricing on this available at uh, all the major platforms. So uh, availability isn't a problem. Like you have everything you would want and need from an application like this. They also are working on an iPad uh, application, which I've seen pictures of, but it is still at a really early stage and only available for people who are paying. So as I said, um, a lot of great things about this application. The major thing that makes me excited for this uh, application is they're focused into turning, uh, turning uh, capacities into an offline first application uh, and having offline as the most important thing because that is a trend in the productivity space and I think it is really important. I think a lot of people want that and I think Capacities is doing the right thing by focusing on that. We have gotten a lot of offline functionality already and it just goes to show that this will continue to develop in the right way and I'm excited with what they actually can come up with in 2025. So. Uh, first on the list and uh, probably an application more people are excited about. Next on my list is actually Mem uh, and Mem.ai uh, or MemNotes. Uh, it's an application I have been really excited about for such a long time. It had like the perfect, I wouldn't say selling point, but the perfect idea of a note-taking app. Like remember everything, organize nothing. Uh, it will do the organization for you. It will have great AI search. You can now even talk to your notes, which is great, but that is something more applications have added. Uh, but the idea of not having to organize anything, having AI to or organize things for you was such an amazing idea. And I think that they, did some of the things right, uh, but uh, one or at least uh, a few of the things they did wrong uh, was around this uh, user interface and just the experience of the application being not as good as you wanted to. There are uh, like minor things that you would expect from a good note-taking app missing in this one, like dark mode has been something people have talked about, not fully functioning mobile application. So you have an iOS application, but it isn't really good. Uh, you have different versions on uh, the web and the Mac app, for example. So a lot of things like that has been the issue and just the overall feeling of the user interface and the user experience of 
using uh, and taking notes inside of this application. Uh, that has been the major issue, which they have promised to fix in MEM 2.0, which is coming in December. At least that's what they said, that it will be released in 2024. But my guess is that uh, we won't get everything fixed until a couple of months at least into 2025. So I am really excited both for the first release, but also uh, if they are a also to see if they are able to actually fix a lot of the issues uh, that uh, comes with a new release. Like every time you release something new, there will be a few issues and whether or not they will take feedback from the user base and implement new things as well. So really excited about MEM 2.0. It also comes with an offline mode, which as I mentioned in uh, the capacity section is something that I think every note taking app will go towards at some point. For some, it might take longer, but I think every single note taking app will have a uh, the ability to use the apps offline. So next up, we might have an unexpected one. This is actually Milanote. And uh, one of the reasons why I chose to include Milanote is that uh, they haven't released anything major the last six, seven, eight months, even this year. I haven't seen any major releases and uh, it is a great application, but one of the biggest issues with this application is that the mobile app is actually terrible to the point where it is almost completely useless for anything else than actually just quick capturing things and dragging them onto your board from here. Uh, apart from that, it feels completely useless. Like it is a whiteboarding uh, applications uh, with out actual whiteboarding in the mobile application so uh, everything feels terrible like it is hard to find exactly the thing you're looking for moving things from a board to another board is it it just doesn't work it is completely hopeless the mobile application and it has been something they have been trying to fix for a while now like they have a great uh, ipad application so I would expect them to be able to create uh, at least an okay, um, at least an okay note-taking uh, application on the iPhone as well. A good phone application would be amazing, and that is what we are getting uh, in twenty twenty-five. I don't know the exact release date for this one, but it is coming uh, next year, and that will actually uh, take Melanote even further up on the visual note-taking app tier list, even though I think it is uh, quite good. But in my visual note-taking app tier list, I dragged it down because the mobile application is terrible. I really hope that it will be a, a good mobile application because that makes Melanote one of the best visual note-taking apps. Again, I really like this application. And I think a mobile app would fix a lot of the issues I and many other people have with this. And I would also like to see more uh, rapid implementations uh, of features next year. I know that like reconstructing the mobile applications and they've also tried to done the whole or to do the whole like uh, whiteboarding experience and uh, applications on the web and the desktop a lot faster, especially when it comes to search. Uh, but I would still like to see other improvements as well, even though I know that those two mobile application and making an application faster, it requires a lot of effort. But now that they've done that, I would like to see them improve some of the other things and add some new features because I think they have a couple of things in their pipeline. I would also like to see better search inside of here. Uh, that is something I've wanted for such a long time. I want better search and I also would want the ability to add uh, tags on my cards, which is another feature that they have on their roadmap. So I'm i uh, really excited about this because I'm excited about the mobile uh, application, uh, but I, I'm also excited to see whether or not they can follow through with 
all of the things they've promised in their roadmap. I think this is the applications uh, application I'm most excited about. They wanted to add objects and this is Craft. They wanted to add, add objects and the last time I talked about this I think I talked about objects but there will actually be no objects inside of here. We won't get objects in Craft. Instead uh, we will get something called collections which are basically databases uh, that's at least what i will call i would like to call them uh, they are at least very close to the databases you can see in things like notion with properties and things like that uh, and i think that takes this application more towards becoming a personal application a personal note-taking application rather than a document application which it has been it is a document application with the ability to add notes. Uh, that is what I would call it right now, but with the addition of collections. And they are also doing task management. And the task management looked so good inside of uh, uh, the videos I've seen. Uh, it looked amazing. So I'm really excited about those two features because I think craft is like the only real competitor to uh, notion i think this is like the only other applications i could think of becoming really really mainstream uh, i don't think things like obsidian or object-based note taking i think they are mostly for people who do a lot of research who are in the tech space who are uh, really interested in note taking apps uh, like i am personally uh, but i think this could become um become a really mainstream application they have also added whiteboard uh, or whiteboards which they are currently working on you even have sketching abilities inside of here and all of the things craft are adding uh, in addition to it being off uh, offline uh, first and you can use it completely offline on the mac and on the iphone that's actually mainly how i have been using it i haven't been using it online almost at all uh, and uh, that in addition to all of the features it has added it is such an amazing application and it is going uh, in a direction i wanted to go and i know a lot of people in the note taking space wanted to go and that is towards becoming more of a note taker and less of a documents application so that is why i am really excited about it but even as of right now, it is probably the best choice if you are in the Apple ecosystem. Even though it has a web version and a Windows application, it feels just so good on iOS devices. But that covers it for uh, the first part of this video. So stay tuned for the second part where I talk about the newer applications that will be out in a week or so from uh, this video coming out. So. Let me know if there are any applications you think should be on this list. And as usual, I hope to see you again quite soon.